What's up guys, Ace Set of Third, and today Mordecai and I are going to be you guys an exciting action-packed Wi-Fi battle versus my good friend Mixed Tracks, and it's going to be very fantastic because we tried some new things, and it's going to be great to show you guys these new things because then you get to see, you get to see a new spectrum of Ace, Star of the Third, Third Generation battling, and etc. and accessories. So if you guys enjoy this amazing third gen battle, before we get started, I ask you guys to please go in the description and check out something called that question. Basically, it's a question I ask to get you guys' opinions on things, so please be sure to go in, in the comments and answer it in the comments below. We'll only answer it if you have the time to. So if you look at this team, this team has a really cool core that you probably have already seen if you watch my submission on Mount Silver Battles. If you haven't, I'll put that right here. Go click that. Right there, it's clickable, click. But anyway, it's a core of Fortress, Tyranitar, and Gengar. Uh, basically, a Fortress sets up spikes and Gengar prevents them from being wrapped up in the way. And once that spikes gets set up on my side of the field, I have Fortress to go ahead and wrap up in them away. And if a ghost type tries to prevent us from doing that, we have Tyranitar with Pursuit to prevent them from escaping, trying to be cute. But anyway, we have a pretty cool core of Swampert and Snorlax. Basically, Swampert and Snorlax are my core that I always use, but they're really good because Swampert stops uh, Dragon Dancers and really other potent physical Pokemon in the game, and it has Ice Beam to stop Dragon types, plus Roar to go ahead and go really synergetically with Fortress's spikes. And then I have Falsetto, the Snorlax, to go ahead and go for self destructs when things get down and dirty, and it's such a good special defensive wall that it's 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 phenomenal. That's why I usually have one on my team because it always does work, and it always stops things like Celebi is another Pokemon that I like to set up or uh, call mines and etc. But anyway, I do hope you guys enjoy this amazing third gen battle. Be sure to stay tuned in the video. Have something special for you guys, and let's go. Okay, so recently we hit 4K, and me and Mordecai, or Mordecai and I, are actually really excited about that. Aren't you excited? Yes, you're excited. No, we are, because 4K is a lot, and we really appreciate it. And we got this new camera, and we're going to do a pit for you guys today, because, surprise! Surprise! Anyway, so he's going to leave off the Cloister. I'm going to leave off with my Swamper. I already know this is a horrible switching for us. Isn't it? So we're going to go ahead and go out into Fortress, because we're going to rapid spin those spikes away, because that was clearly the thing that he was going to do at the time because it's a cloister and cloister likes to set up spikes so anyway so he's gonna rapid spin my fortress is but he's gonna go into his gengar which is pretty good for us because we actually have the opportunity to go out into our tyranitar now and unfortunately we're gonna take out we are gonna have to take a thunderbolt from this gengar but the fact that we're not natured kind of hurts that but it's also good because we also get to go for a pursuit and it also shows me that this gengar does not have the appropriate EV spread to survive a pursuit from a Tyranitar because he's going to go ahead and get taken out immediately due to hard pursuit, which is very fantastic, which means that that rapid spin blocker is now gone. And we gotta worry about it no more. So anyway, he's gonna go ahead and go out into his Flygon, which kind of sucks because this thing can super effectively hit us, of course. And I think, I don't think we have Ice Beam on this, uh, yeah, we don't have Ice Beam. So we're gonna have to switch right back out into Fortress because we figured that we were gonna have to take a Choice Banded Earthquake. But then we see he has a Substitute, and I'm like, hello? And he's like, excuse me, meow, 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 meow. And I'm like, okay, yeah, exactly. So he's gonna have to go behind a Substitute. I'm thinking, okay, this is a good time for me to go ahead and set up some Spikes. Um, I'm sorry, get rid of some spikes with some rapid spinning. But he has Screech. I'm sitting here like, oh my, Screech. So, okay, I have not seen that in the longest time. Nobody said he could leave. But that means that our Fortress will take monumental amounts of damage from an Earthquake. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and switch right back out into Gengar. Because Gengar can easily take an Earthquake because it's immune to it. And right back afterwards, I'm going to go into Fortress, because Fortress can take a Rock Slide, or whatever the last coverage moves that he has, because Fortress has an immense amount of defensive investment and HP, so it can take plenty of physical Rock Attack from something that doesn't even have its stat, doesn't it? Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so he's going to go ahead and go for a Rock Slide. He's going to get a crit, unfortunately, but it really doesn't matter to that much because of the Fortress and the fact that there's Antstorm up. And the fact that I'm a steel type means that I can still get my leftovers recovery and just recover it back later on. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to go with some spikes now, which is pretty good for me. Uh, spikes are always a good thing, like I said, in third generation because residual damage can make it or break it in the end. So that's why you really want to get rid of them as soon as possible and or get them there as soon as possible. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Gengar because I figured he was going to go for an Earthquake again. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that, which is pretty fantastic for us, because then that means that we have taken no damage unnecessarily, and it's a good thing. Um, don't play with my dead cards. Don't play with my 
shoulder. Okay, why don't you play with why don't you play with this mini USB thing? Anyway, so after that I'm gonna head and go out into my Swamp Rig because I know that my Swamp Rig can easily take a rock slide from a Flygon because it's not super effective at all. But I'm gonna head and go for a roar and not break his substitute because I figured that if I did go for an Ice Beam then he would one Screech and then he would go for an Earthquake probably sacking himself which would mean he would go into his next physical sweeper that I'm not sure if, whether he has or not. And if he did do that then that would have meant that my Swamper would have been completely useless and its job would have been negated because it would have lost too much HP for, me to, for it to be useful anymore. So anyway, he's gonna go into his Swamper after I wore him out. I'm gonna go into my Gengar so I can take an Earthquake because I figured that what was what he was going to go for. And at this point, now I get the free opportunity to go for a will o -Wisp, which means that after that, I can freely go out into my Snorlax to wall the Swamper because then that means he can't fire off Earthquakes because then they'll be really weak because he's burned now and then he'll have to hit me with his coverage moves of Hydro Pump and Ice Beam which won't do that much because Swamp Bird doesn't have the hugest special attack stat and Snorlax has a 110 base special defense stat plus 150 base HP like hello so he's not going to be doing that much damage with the Hydro Pump so I thought until he got a crit so I'm sitting here like okay that's cool that's not, you're not playing anymore what's wrong with you but it's anyway so he's going to get the crit which kind of sucks but I mean not it sucks because I don't have a way to recover my HP back and the fact that there's sand it makes it even worse so it, it's like okay that is kind of bad but then still it's all I need to do is take a special like a few special attacks and I'm just gonna self-destruct anyway but anyway so I'm gonna go into my fortress because I figured he was going to just do nothing to me or just switch right back out to his flag on and then I would have taken that opportunity to set up some more spikes but he goes on to his salamence which kind of sucks because it's a salamence and now this means that um, I'm kind of in a dangerous position now because he can go ahead and set up Dragon Dances. But I'm also going to get up a layer of spikes, and I know at this point he's probably going to go for in a Fire Blast or for a Rock Slide at this point. So that's why I'm going to go right back out into my Swamp Root because first of all, I know that my Swamp Root can take a plus one anything from this. And if it is resisted, then it's not going to be nearly as much of a threat as anyone would originally thought it was going to be. If you hit me, if you hit me, I'm going to hug you. So anyway. Fortunately enough, we take a little bit of damage from that rock slide, not too much, but this HP flying is going to do outrageous amounts of damage, and we're sitting here like, meow, and I'm like, hell yeah, like that did too much, excuse me. But for us to be a defensive swamper, that is a monumental amount of damage, and that's just why you cannot allow Salamences to Dragon Dance, because, oh my lord, they literally destroy your life. But, anyway, he was going to go out into his Cloister, which kind of sucks, because, I mean, now he's going to be able to probably go for an Ice Beam, we thought, because the the, split, the switch to the Gengar was so obvious that I would think that he wouldn't yeah, he wouldn't just go for Rapid Sense first. And he didn't, he went for an Ice Beam, which is pretty good for us, because now we get the opportunity to go for an HP Grass. But he doesn't know we have HP Grass. So he's going to assume that we're going to go for like a Rock Slide or something, so that's why he's going to switch on to a Swampert. And guess what? We have Hidden Power Grass again. And so that's why we have cool new sets, because people don't expect things nowadays, and because I'm not using the same team anymore. Isn't that right? Meow. Anyway. So I'm gonna have to take out his Swampert. I don't know why he went to his Cloister, but it seems so shady to me. Like he had enough special defense investment in order to survive it, and then he was gonna go for a Surf and take me out, which is why I was worried. Like, I mean, why would you switch back in? I mean, the fact that he switched in made me so scared, so that's why I went on to my butt word. But then he goes for a Rapid Spin, and I'm sitting here like, you just faked me out, bitch. That's not cool. Like, nobody even asked you to do all that. If you, I mean, this is just for play. Toy. You don't need it, like, eat it. But anyway, so he's gonna wrap his phenomenal entry hazards away, which kind of gets my nerves because it gets my nerves <laughs> a lot because I needed them. But anyway, he's gonna go for an explosion because I knew at that point the fact that I have a swamp rip makes it so that that Salamence is gonna have a, a hard time sweeping through my team. And he knew that otherwise that he could probably do it. So that's why he I figured he was gonna go for an explosion, which he goes ahead and does do. But my Gengar's gonna easily take that because it's immune to normal type attacks and we're not gonna give a fluck about it. So he's gonna go on to his Jirachi. I'm going to fodder myself out and go for a will o -Wisp. I figured it was really important for me to get a status on this thing because I don't want it to go for Calm Minds and all that bull crap uh, that Jirachis like to do. I mean, I could have saved my, I could have saved it and just went on to my Metagross like I just did now. But I mean, 
oh well, I didn't really, I don't think I needed it in the end run. Like, I could have used it right now, but just ice punch this flag on, but I, I didn't, it didn't matter to me. But anyway, I predicted to switch out into the Solomance because I figured he would really just want to get it in so he can go for a Dragon Dance, but he just goes on to his flag on. I mean, both of them were okay switches in, switch ends, so I, I honestly could have just went for a Meteor Match now that I... Now that I think about it in retrospect, I honestly could have just did that, but then I didn't, I, I just didn't. But, um, he's going to, I'm going to go ahead and go out to my Star Spear at this point. I'm picking at this point, he's just going to go ahead and go for a Screech or just Earthquake me, but, um, so that's why I go ahead and set up some more spikes. But then, at this point, I figured he was going to go for an Earthquake, which is why I tried to go for an Explosion now. Because, I mean, why could he just, you know, set up substitute if I just, I mean, you know, I figured he would just hit me with an earthquake, but then he goes for a stupid ass substitute, and I look dumb because I just exploded on a doll. And okay, that that's always a good thing. You like exploding? You like expo you explode? You explode? You explode? Your mom explodes. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna go into Butler because I know that Butler can easily take a earthquake or anything from this thing, and I know that now that I'll have any of my stats reduced, that I don't have to worry about. I don't have to worry about. Um, I don't have to worry about. Two plus two earthquakes. I mean, hello. So he's gonna go for a screech. He's gonna, I'm gonna go for an ice beam. Just take this thing out. I'm not gonna take any chances with this. I mean, it's a mess, so I needed to go. And now I'm at minus two. So I'm thinking that at minus two, I'm not sure how much that silence will do to me. But I know that plus one did so much. I'm not sure how much a plus two would do in retrospect. I mean, thinking about it, minus two defense basically means plus two attack. So basically, he has up a sword stance right now. I mean, I'm only at like 60%. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to stay in as he goes for Hidden Power Flying. And it's going to do so much, but then I live with 9 HP. 9! 9! 9! I HP. And if I didn't, then that would have sucked. Um, because then I would have lost my settlements. I don't think I would have had anything else appropriate to switch into other than my Tyranitar. Which I'm not sure whether or not it could have taken an earthquake, but... Fortunately enough, I just go ahead and take out the Salamence and I don't have to worry about it anymore. It is now KO'd and gone. Nobody's actually go over there. Loser. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and my la I'm gonna go ahead and just die as he goes on to his last Pokemon, which is Jirachi, which is a good thing for me, because now I'm just gonna head to go out into uh Metagross Degenerous and I'm gonna go ahead and go for a nice and powerful choice banded earthquake and get rid of this Jirachi forever out of my face. Eliminated gone. <laughs> so that means I have taken out his final Pokemon, and that means that we go ahead and win. Oh my lord. I mean, that was... Oof. Ooh. If I... Ooh. 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 Ugh. Anyway, so I go ahead and beat... Uh, who was in tracks? Ugh. Yeah, I go ahead and beat him. So it was a good game, right? I... You know, yeah. So uh, be sure to like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment if you were cool, subscribe if you haven't, share for the balls, share if you have the balls, and favorite if you are a fortress. This is the new camera. I hope it's a lot better than my old one because the old one was just a hot mess. Where's that thing at? Did I throw it away already? I don't think I threw it away, but it's somewhere in my room. I don't know where though, but it needs to just go somewhere with all that static all over the place looking like a hot mess with all that autofocus, brightness. Ugh, like I looked like Casper the Ghost every two seconds it was a mess but uh i go ahead and i got a new one i'm happy with this one i hope you guys are happy with it too i need you guys to comment and tell me how this is is it good look at this uh, is that is that is that 1080p is that is that good enough for you is, is this not enough or do i need twenty thousand dollar cameras in order to satisfy you guys i'll do whatever it takes <sighs> but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this uh, me and mordecai or mordecai and i are actually really excited to have four thousand subscribers we want to thank all of you from the bottom of our hearts uh this heart and this one right here yeah cat hearts are on this side not in the middle in the chest but anyway we are really excited at the fact that we got 4k and we're going to give you some more awesome videos from now on and we are really really appreciative of that so um thank you guys for that and we truly appreciate it and keep on staying for more because it's just gonna get better on from here isn't it isn't it gonna get better from here is it gonna be better from here is it yeah hell yeah it is anyway so thank you guys so much for watching this has been a sort of third um i will see you guys later and have a wonderful day and wanna say bye wanna say bye you just ruined everything you're such a you're such an anticlimactic anti cat cat ma anti cat anti cactic cat <laughs>
Oh, snap, my zip has been showing this entire time. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day, and bye. Bye. <laughs>